Adam Korsak's career at Rutgers is without a doubt one of the best in the history of college football. Most punting yards, one of the highest, if not the highest career net average, multiple Ray Guy Award finalists, and this year, the man, the myth, the legend brought it all home by winning the Ray Guy. But let's talk about a stat that's really going to blow your mind and blew my mind with just how impressive it is. So let's start with a little context. Adam has gotten better every single year since he's been in the league at making his game more rock solid and safer by limiting the number of return yards opponents put up. His first year, they returned his punts for a total of 146 yards, which on 70 plus punts is not unheard of. And I would consider for how many punts he had to be pretty middle of the pack. Not bad, not that impressive. In 2019, he got a little better as he only allowed for 134 yards of return, but then he cracked the code in 2020, only allowing teams to return his punts for a total of 33 yards across 48 punts, which is cool, but even more impressively, only allowed for eight total more return yards in 2021 on 72 total punts, meaning he had allowed only 41 total return yards that season alone. Now this, you would imagine, would be pretty hard to top, especially since he put up three more punts this year than in 2021, but obviously I wouldn't be making this video if he didn't top it. So let's just take a gander. On 75 punts, how many return yards he had? It's less than 40, it's less than 30, it's even less than 10. So let's look through a game by game against Boston College, zero return yards, Temple, zero return yards, Iowa, zero return yards, Ohio State, negative three return yards, Nebraska, zero, Indiana, negative five return yards, Minnesota, zero, Michigan, negative two return yards, Michigan State, zero return yards, Penn State, zero, Maryland, negative one return yards. Yes, his total return yards is less than zero. When attempting to return punch, the opposing team ultimately put up a collective negative 11 return yards across 75 punts. That's against powerhouses like Michigan, Ohio State, and Penn State. This means across his five years and 349 total punts, he only allowed for 343 total return yards, which is less than three active teams put up this year alone. He is quite possibly the safest punter to have ever played college football and has done something we may never see again in FBS football as long as he's been in the league. So it's always have an amazing day, better than Korzak, and peace.